Tony Longo, 100 days, day 16. Five things I thank God for on day 16. Number one is um, delivering God's message to just one soul, the perfect stranger, looking for and wanting nothing in return. Uh, number two is um, great night's sleep. Number three is um, I had a great refreshing walk by the ocean. Number four is, um, now bear with me here, is that I got my car washed, all right? And that's how this whole miracle happened. And number five is realizing in the aftermath precisely that I precisely and exactly, everything had to be perfect and exact for me to be at the car wash at this specific time, all right? And, and I mean, everything had one thing changed, this, 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 crossing of paths would not have happened. So I'm at the car wash, I'm, I'm, I'm on the, the end of a, the last bench, and it's kind of crowded, and I'm sitting there waiting for my car. The car just came through, and now they're doing the inside and everything. And then I, um, a woman, young woman comes, sits next to me on the other end of the bench. And obviously she's been crying, she's upset, she's this, then she's on her phone, and she hangs a call up, and then completely breaks down. And if someone embarrassed next to me, she doesn't want me to notice. I don't want to notice her. I'm looking away. And, um, but then I, I, I did something. I reached inside. I, I, at first, first, as we're both trying to pretend that we don't, that nothing's happening, I, I, I look, we're both looking at the cars being finished. And then I, our eyes somehow crossed and locked for just a split second. And in that split second, and then after the split second, I took my deep breath, I held it within, and I, um, I collected all the love and the, everything that God gives inside us from the truth of my soul, of my existence, where all the power and strength comes. And I slowly just released the breath, blessing the woman, wishing her well, and peace, love, joy, happiness, laughter, and then that was it. But then I reached into my pocket for some reason, and, and I always carried in my pocket since I was struck by lightning, a stone. And this is a thing, it's just simple, you've probably seen them around. This one particular one says miracle. And what happened was, was when I was in the hospital, was struck by lightning, in the middle of that night a nurse came in, and she gave me a thing of water, and she gave me the stone. And she said, the water from God, from uh, the, do water, the, the doctor wants you to have the water, God wants you to have this. And then she simply said as she was walking out, because I was kind of queasy, she said, um, God will tell you when and who to pass it on to. So since that, I, I, I've, I've given it away. I gave it away after that. And kind of quickly to someone, and it was, it was, it felt good, and it was, but it was nothing like this one. And now since then, I've, 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 I've gone online and I bought 18 of these things, the same miracle, and let me tell you, I, I, I just hold on to them for as long as it be a year, if it be however long, if it be the end of my 100 days or whatever, but I, I, I've only, this is, the car wash one is the third one, the third one that I've given away so far, from the ones I bought plus the one I had, so that would be, I've given away four total, but this is the third one. This was the third one from the batch that, of the 18. And now this is the new one that I carry around. Um, so on the bench, I, I put this, in, grabbed it in my hand, and the cars are being done at the same time. We both stand up, and from my pocket, as I'm going to get the tip, I, I pull out this, the stone, and I just go to place it in her hand, and, and, and she extends, she died, and I didn't know what was going to happen. She reaches her hand out, I put the stone in her hand, and I just said, whispered to her, I said, God wants you to, God wants you to have this. And she looked down and looked at it in her eyes, filled with tears and everything. And then I, I don't know where I got the courage to, to, to I just leaned in again and I said, um, and the, the guy's tooting my horn for my car and I said, um, everything, I do know where it came from. It came from God, all right? It's, uh, I said to her, every question you ever had, you ever asked? God just wants you to know the answer is yes. 
yes, he's there, yes, he's listening, yes, he loves you, yes, he can hear you. And then the last two were, I, I said, yes, you're worth it, and yes, he does have a plan for you. And then I turned, walked away, just turned, and she didn't collapse on the bench, but sat back down and curled up and was just crying. And I mean, yeah, as I get in the car, and I, I'm, I'm the, the guy, tipping the guy, she, she, she screams, thank you, with tears rolling down her face, and, and I drove away. So this day 16 was by far, above and beyond, the greatest of my uh, 100 days so far. So I want to thank you, God, for day 16. And, uh, boy, I can't wait to see what happens next. But thank you. This was a great, great day, a great, great feeling. And um, also, for any of you that are watching this, you can read more, um, read about this on angelsherenow.com. And uh, because what happens is, sometimes I don't get in here what I say on angelsherenow.com, and sometimes on angelsherenow.com I don't get in and on here. So you can follow them together. But anyway, um, I got to tell you, day 16, God was truly amazing, man. Um, wow.